Mary Bird, thanks for joining me for Coffee on the Couch. Thanks for inviting me, Tasha. So I want to talk to you today about opportunities for technicians and ways that technicians can go further in their field. Because often I hear from technicians that they feel like they're stagnant in their job and they're considering yes. actually leaving the field because they feel like they're not utilized enough. Correct. Um, and I know that you do a lot of different things in veterinary technology yes. and you've played a lot of roles. So what advice would you have for these technicians? Oh, the number one thing I tell people is don't ever turn down an opportunity. Um, I have done everything from research to practice management, working in a general practice to consulting. Um, I have done education. I now teach at a tech school also. I have learned that there's a word I don't have in my vocabulary, which is no, um, which is most techs don't have that, but it has advanced me where I'm at in my career now. I think there's one thing you can never turn down, and that's the opportunity for CE. Um, if there's an opportunity to be involved in your state, local, state, national organizations, being on a committee, uh, that's a great way to advance your career, network with other people. I think the, the, the individuals I talk to who are fed up or burned out, whatever the case might be, whatever you want to call it, um, are the technicians who just go to work every day and come home. They don't get involved in every, any other organizations. They don't go get CE. They don't network. They don't know other people. And I think that's so important. Um, we are such a small community for technicians. You know, I walk around this conference hall and I see people that I haven't seen in years or we've known from some other aspect. I love dentistry, obviously. There is no other topic to really concern yourself with. Yeah, unless except you, dentistry. Or anesthesia. Or anesthesia. Um, but we, you know, we know people who are behavior people, who are um, anesthesia, who are nutrition, all these different specialties. And I think if you have a true passion for something that you are passionate about in veterinary medicine, see what advances you can make. Obtain CE. Think about becoming a specialist. The connections you make when you do these things are exponential in what you can do and where you can end up with your career. So for dentistry, because you're so involved in the ABDT and you're so involved in technician dentistry, you are a specialist in, yes, I am. in BTS, and BTS and dentistry. What advice would you have for somebody who works in a general practice and they don't have a lot of dentistry? How could they get like dentistry going at their clinic? How could they go on that path to becoming a specialist in dentistry? Well, I think there's a lot of options for that. Um, attend some CE on it. We do CE at almost every na or every national conference has a dental, dental track. Uh, we have people who not only give you the clinical, um, scientific aspect of it, but how to help build your practice, how to bring dentistry in, what equipment do you need to do, how to talk to clients, how do I convince that client who's a little bit of afraid of anesthesia that dentistry is okay and we can do it. We're going to add two to three years of life to your pet by doing these procedures. Uh, and there's things that they can do. They can contact me. They can go on VSPN, which I'm a board moderator on there. Come to a conference, call me, or talk to me at a conference, give me an email, anything, and we can get them. If they have a passion for dentistry, we can get them started on how to build it within their own practice. And it, it may be them who has to convince the doctor that dentistry is important, but if you have a technician in your practice who's passionate about something, the doctor will eventually grasp onto that and start moving. If they don't, then maybe it's time to go to a different practice. Okay. So. Last question for you, Mary. Mm -hmm. Do you brush your cow's teeth? My cow's teeth? I don't have a cow right now. I have sheep. Do you brush their teeth? Not the sheep so much. The we dog? The dogs, yes. You but brush the, cats, the dog's yes, teeth? Yes, yes. Right. But the sheep, not so much. Cheers. Cheers. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. Thanks. <laughs>